called me uh, to do, um, uh, what was the one set in, in, in Elizabethan era? The Prestige. The Prestige. Which is also incredible. It's yes, incredible. absolutely. And, and he's been so kind after Memento, again, we only work for a week. Uh, he's been so kind to continue to try to hire me, but for one reason or another, it, it never came together. So I, I'm, uh, th it was a great disappointment because he was such a gentleman. You know, even then, he was always in his nice button-down and, and, and jacket, you know, where everybody else in Los Angeles was in you know, flip-flops and t-shirts. And so, uh, but like I said, I, uh, I, we laughed. Uh, the, the woman that hired me, I'd worked on another film with her here in Austin, and uh, uh, she was a huge Terrence Malick fan, and I had just finished The Thin Red Line, and so uh, Christopher Nolan was a huge Terrence Malick fan, and so, uh, you know, uh, we laughed. I think really the only reason why he hired me was just to you know, asking all these questions about Mr. Malik. Um, but yeah, we, we only, I think we only storyboarded a week, maybe it was two weeks, but we worked on uh, the opening scene and the ending so that those were very well understood uh, because obviously in that film, everything, you know, spun off of that. Um, and so we planned those out and he was very specific with the shots that he wanted. A lot of times, you know, it's, it's give or take, you know, some directors, it's like, I have no idea, you figure it out. Uh, and uh, you know other directors are very specific, and he was very specific about what he wanted, and uh, and his cinematographer was there as well. And so you know we blocked it out. We blocked it out in the room, you know, in his office of, of how all the action was going to go down. And and uh, you know I drew it up, and um, and it, it's and I believe those drawings are on the uh, special edition of the uh, of the DVD, which. Ego-wise, it was a bit of a disappointment because I was actually on another movie at the time that I was doing his, and I was trying this new style with this new pencil. I remember, and so I had to kind of quickly do these drawings, and uh, you know, it's always the ones that you you know blitz through. They end up making on some sort of DVD or you know uh, in a book or something. It's never the ones that are in your portfolio. But so they're they're not my favorite, but uh, working with him was was.